Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. And if you're feeling extra crazy, drop a like and turn those notifications on. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. We are we are absolutely flying right now. This is the current team, and I am currently six and one. 6-0? No, I think I'm 6-0 on Foot Champions right now, so we're doing very, very well. We won't be playing Foot Champions in today's episode. No, 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 no. We're going to be going for Rule Breaker Adebayo Akinfenwa. He looks like an absolute beast. Before I show you him, as I said, this is the current team. We're going to be making two signings in today's episode, which is very, very exciting. Road to that team I showed you in the last episode. Uh, but before we do that, let's head over to the objectives and show you the Akinfenwa we're going to be, going to be trying and getting him. Realistically, he's not going to be playing in the first team. But to have him, I think, is a, it's a, you know, it's a, a monumental impact. You know, it's an emotional signing. And we're actually very close to getting him. He also, to be fair, looks like an absolute beast. 81 pace, 8 shooting, 90 physical. It don't get much better than that for a 74 rated silver, who will be handy when we do silver challenges. So we've scored three goals using championship players. Very easy. Did that in game number one with Andre Gray for Watford. So we get ourselves a premium goal pack. And then we're also very close so we need to play one more game with at least one Liverpool player aka Fabinho and Mane uh, Fabinho we signed in the last episode so we've literally got to play one more game and get a 75 rated plus pack and then in the heading we got to score so in the one game we play realistically and hopefully I got to score I got to score two headers okay which is it's going to be hard so hopefully we can score the headers in the today's games uh, otherwise I'll have to finish Akin Fenwa off camera and then unleash the beast scoring two separate wins using players with 81 physical uh, and that basically means scoring with Allen for me and I actually love this no boundaries it's basically slide, slide tackles and goal hanging I love that kind of football and we actually completed the no boundaries challenge so win five matches we get a two rare goal player packs we've actually got some packs to open before uh, today's episode gets going and we get into the gameplay and we also get a premium gold player pack so actually let's go ahead and open these packs first in fact have we completed all of the objectives and milestones anything else anything else week three or week four bronze so we get a team hurlet badge hashtag united badge and team vitality and then we shall move over to milestones and do we have a pack oh no i don't know why i said milestones we actually get a, okay we get a lawnmower pack for Oh wait, pitch patterns. We can change our pitch patterns on our pitch. That is cool. I'm excited to change the pitch pattern. We got a checkered small or circles. Okay, I'm gonna wait, confirm then. I'm actually gonna change it to the circles. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. So this is checkered small and then circles. Oh, let's do that. How do I make it? Deactivate. Oh, it's activated already. Right, so our pitch pattern is now circles, you know, changing up here and there. I hope they make some cool ones in the future, but in the store. Before we go into the SBC section, we've got a premium gold pack, premium gold player pack, and two player packs. So those, let's open the premium gold pack and hopefully we can get something semi decent from this. I can't imagine we do. Premium gold packs don't usually give out. And Zappa Costa it is. Moving over to let's do the uh, let's do the two red gold player pack. I feel like you usually get better stuff from a two player pack than a premium player pack, but Oh my god, we got a walkout! Go on! Go on! I was right! Please, 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 please. Son. Oh my word! Oh my word! We just got Son from a two-player pack. We literally had him like a week ago, tradable, and we sold him. Do we? Is this untradable? Is this untradable? Oh my word! He's 200k. I think he still is 200k. Son is worth. It's un, We've got an untradable Son, which is incredible to have in the club. He's yeah, he's still worth 200k. Oh my goodness! We packed Son twice. Once tradable, once untradable. 200 thousand coins this guy is worth and he's and he's just a simple untradable player in my club now that is mate that is so good like genuinely so good it makes me want to put him back in the side and use him but i feel like he could be a super sub for us and it's, 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 yeah see as i was correct i was correct the two player pack was better than the premium player pack not even a board huming son ruben viso in this one I can't believe we just packs on. That's actually insane. So before we go ahead and actually go into the SBCs and get ourselves a few more packs, uh, let's put Son. Like we could easily shove him. We could just shove him up front where Lucas is. But uh, the reason I got some maximum is to give Mukiele some some chemistry. So Son, I mean, I'm honestly very very gassed. I can't lie. We'll put him in for Promes. Uh, no Havertz. There we go. Like that. So we got untradable habits. Untra just to have a son on the bench, untradable is absolutely fantastic. I can't lie. Right. 
enough enough son talk let's go in to the SBCs and I believe there are new marquee matchups which we have completed so head over to favorites marquee matchups should all be done if I haven't duplicated the players so for the Leipzig and Borussia Mönchengladbach that is all done we get a prime Electrum player pack. I didn't want to submit my rule breaker. Mukiele submitted the normal Mukiele. And then for your Athletic Club versus Sevilla. Is it done? It is done. No duplicated players. So that obviously means there's like a player missing because I used him for a different SBC. So we get ourselves a pro, a, a, pro, a small prime gold player pack. And then the Lil versus Leon is a mixed player pack again this is all done all 11 players still in the club fantastic we get a mixed players pack and the final one is new york city versus red bulls which in fact i've seen them play live i've seen new york city versus the red bulls probably about three years ago when both lampard and perlo were playing at the yankee stadium so there you go a little fact about me we get a small prime premium electrum players pack marquee matchups number five is done and we get a rare electron player pack as well so that is is that four or, or five packs do we have to open now five packs it is let's start off with the mixed player pack um i can't, I can't imagine we're going to get anything better than Huming son but you, you never know stranger things have happened in this one we ball dock i usually keep the majority of players because i feel like like 2000 coins isn't going to affect the coin total too much and i'd rather have the players in the club as we get a Champions League, Argentina, left back, Tagliafico? No, Acuna. Acuna. There he is. 83 rated Acuna. 80. Mate, I remember his, I've said this before, his shapeshifter card is incredible. Um, from FIFA 20, that is. And yes, actually, he may be worth selling. How much are you? Yes, you're around two, so he is worth selling it's around two and a half thousand coins. But the others I'll just keep in the keep in the club, and I can use them for future marquee matchups. And we go to the small prime Electrum players pack. A lot of words, not so much of a pack, I'm assuming. It is a board. We do get ourselves a board. Spain keeper. Go on, Roma. It's Lopez, uh, Paul Lopez, 83 rated. Can't complain. And then to end off, we've got a Prime Electron Player Pack and a... I didn't even see what the other one was, but it's slightly better than this Prime Electron Player Pack, which we get... A rare. Just a rare. See, I now know my packs. Turkish Mandy. And finally, the Rare Electron Player Pack. 12 items, 6 golds. All 12 of them are rare. Give me a walkout. As there's fireworks going on outside, are there fireworks on FIFA? We get a board. No, we don't. Oh, I misread that. I adjusted it too early. Right wing. Willian. That's actually not too bad. Obviously, I, I didn't expect to go packing human song at the moment, but we are going to be making two transfers, as I said at the beginning of this episode, uh, after obviously packing the song, which I'm completely guessed about. The first player is someone we've come up against way too many times in foot champions this week and last week, and that is Usman Dembele. He's five-star skills, he's five-star weak foot, he can go on the left-hand side, and he'll get perfect chemistry with my new left-back. Uh, how much is Dembele? I'm just checking for a bin to see what it is. So he's worth about 57,000 coins. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's see if we can snipe one for a little bit less than 56, 57,000 coins. 49, 500. No, that would have been a snipe and a half. I would have made some good money off that. Oh, can we go again? 52,000. We can. 52,500 for left midfield Usman Dembele. Five star skills, five star weak foot. He's got a maestro on him at the moment. He Every time, well, every time I play against him, is quality. So hopefully it's quality for me. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but the, the left back we are going for is uh, someone who played pretty much every game for us last year, Fer Ferlan Mendy. 83 rated, same rating as Dembele, and yet he's triple the price. We're playing 150,000 coins for Mendy. So he better be worth it, otherwise he will be getting sold. According to Footbin, he's worth 136. And we just, oh, we just missed out for 130,000 coins. We are trying to get our money's worth for, for Ferlan Mendy. Come on. Let's give it a snipe royale. We can do this. Finally, we got him for 133,000 coins. He's got a, it's like an anchor on him. So I'm probably going to keep that chem style on him for now uh, until I work out a better one for him. So we've got two massive new signings for the team who will obviously replace Andy Robertson, who has actually been very good for us. I can't lie. He's actually really good in the no boundaries game mode because his slide tackles are incredible. But for now, Marcelo, who would actually get perfect, perfect chemistry there as well, if I'm being honest. But he's going to replace by another 83 rated left back. And that's Ferland Mendy, who will fit right in, get perfect chem there. And we will actually... we, You know what? We could put 
uh, Dembele on the right and take out St. Maximan, who has not been the best for us because Lucas has been scoring a lot of goals for us in um, in foot champions at the moment. So maybe we do do this. We have options. So we can either do that, five chemistry, or we do that and then that and then <laughs> that. We could do that and then convert Mane to a left forward. Uh, you know what? Let's just do that. We, we may as well look at selling Lucas for now uh, because he's he, he'll free up a solid 50, 60,000 coins who could go towards a, a, a better right midfielder and a more, more permanent right-sided player as we make Mane a left forward, give him the chemistry. And this is the new-looking first team of the Eto's Excellence. And we're, I think we can take this team into the no boundaries and try and get ourselves an Akin Fenwa. In fact, uh, because it's five leagues, we're actually going to have to have Mane on the bench and bring him on like that. We're going to have to use our loan Mbappe in this because obviously we need the five leagues. So we've got Premier League, La Liga, Liga, German and Icon. For some reason, I have to use this team. But we'll, we'll, we've, we've, got, we've, got two, we've got two debutants and we'll bring Mane on if we need him. And our team... As Jamie Vardy, Anake Williams, Alaba Fassi. Now I know a lot of people have been saying I look like Jamie Vardy. I can't see it. Remember, the goal of this match is to score two headers and also with someone with 81 physical. So I think my only attacking player is... Oh! Is Alan. I put it wide. I've put it wide. And remember, no rules. So it could get a bit crazy. Here we go, Mbappe, lovely, there we go, you see that, no offside, goal hanging Mbappe, fantastic, it'll be help, maybe I should put Alan up front so we can get us our physical goal because I really don't know, if I score a few goals and he quits, it's just a waste, I need the headed goals and I need a physical goal, the key with no boundaries is trying to move the ball, header, header, no don't volley, no he's missed it anyway, the key is to move it before he has a chance to absolutely pile drive you with a slide tackle. Here we go. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Ah, oh, I've you there. Oh no, I haven't. Watch this, ready? Boom. Look at that. Would have been a red card, but no rules. Headers. Header. No. Don't volley at Sir Maximan. Head the ball with the back of the net, please. We are making the executive decision to actually put Alan up front. And Eto can just go set the mid for now. Ah! I thought that went wide. Okay, he scored a header, so my turn to score a header somehow. Oh no. Come on. Yeah! Oh, the slide tackle was just too late, mate. It's two all. I don't necessarily need the win, I just really do want to score of Alan and get these headed goals. I mean, it's a goal with Alan. It's a goal with Alan. So we've done the physical attribute goal, but that wasn't a header. We need two headers now. Haha. <laughs> Here he comes, Ansu Fati. Oh no. As if he scored two headers this game. He scored. Why can't I score headers? I can't believe that's. That's. He's, oh, I can't believe they got a goal. <laughs> I, don't, I was going to say that was so far offside, but there are no rules. Oh, I, I, no. <laughs> Dembele is insane. Look at this replay. That is one of the greatest goals I've ever seen in my life. <gasps> Hit it. How's oh, Manny missed? How is that a miss? I can't believe it. Oh, and the corner was bad as well. I rushed the corner. How did Manny miss that header? I don't understand it. Oh, no. Mende, crunch him. Crunch him. Oh, it, it wasn't exactly crunched, but we'll take the ball. We'll take the ball. Right, it's extra time. It's the world's craziest game of football. I don't know what is going on right now, but we haven't scored a header. Mane should have scored a header, but we, for some reason we haven't. So we got a half or two halves of extra time to try and do it. No! No! 
Oh! Did just enough to put him off. But I'm on a, I'm on a constant press now. Try and get a goal. I gotta try it. Far post. Head it! No! Why can I not score headers? Ah. Uh. I can't believe it. Edison's having an absolute blinder. What was that? Oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. He scored another header. He scored three headers this game and I've scored none. I, I feel slightly targeted. Right, that means we... Wait, Alan didn't have 81 physical? No, are you serious? So we actually didn't even... We only got the three games so we get the 75 rated player. Wait, I, who did I score with the 80 physical then? I swear Alan did score. I'm absolutely baffled, chap. So I've still got halfway through to do for Akin Fenwa. Wait, so what physical does Alan even have then? Because I swear he has 81. Alan, where are you, lad? Physical, 83! So why didn't... Oh, maybe it's scoring in wins and we lost. Okay, right. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is where I'm going to end today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, please drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And in the next episode, hopefully, we'll pretty much have Akin Fenwa. Goodbye.